Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Rosalie. We are all about music and psychology over here. Welcome to the ultimate, the ultimate world music reaction channel. We're going to explore another Nescafe basement session today, season five from 2019, three years ago. Uh, this song has over 27 million views and it is an Adat instrumental, Ban Varai featuring Goher Mumtas. And uh, I'm going to put on the captions. We'll see what it's about. I don't know what to expect at all. So far, I've reacted to one Nescafe basement um, session. It was called Bolhu. And it was mind blowing. It's uh, stuck in my head to this day, and it was a spiritual experience. I'm curious to see what this is about. Um, it says in the description the melody that has ruled the hearts of billions all over the world, uh, that marks its 15 years of love and adoration from its fans and listeners with our instrumental and orchestral take on it. Watch and listen as we take you on a nostalgic trip featuring the one and only Goher Mumtas. All right, I want to check out this instrumental with you guys. As always, like, share, subscribe, become a rider, join the ride or die team up in here as we ride around the world <laughs> in, uh, and enjoy music. Here we go. Nescafe Basement, Season 5. Jagna to Parega. sold. I love the uh, writing, symbols, inscriptions on the guitar. Talk about finger picking skills. I'm probably going to cry, just heads up. This is just...
This is a 10 minute trek, but I don't want to pause because this is the most beautiful art. It's spiritual, you guys. I wish you could feel what I'm feeling. I hope you can. This goes into your soul. It's like healing almost. That's <laughs> weird. changes when you have violins it's just a whole it's such a beautiful instrument kanchi tujhse kismat ki lakeer haathon mein dikhta tha wo pyaar I didn't know he w- there was somebody going to sing. Teri hi aadat kuch pad si gayi. Chaahat ka aisa tha khumar. Neend na aaye raaton mein kyun? Bichde lamhon ko lota de tu. I don't want to stop guys. Just real quick. I didn't know that there was going to be any singing since it says instrumental. Um, but I, I see here now it's a segue adat instrumental and then ban barai. I hope I'm saying it right. And I'm following the captions, which the second part seems to be a love song. This first section was so spiritual. I mean, oh God, I pray there's a heaven where we can just, you know, worship like that and listen to music like that. It's so spiritual to me, like all these different instruments coming together. We'll talk about that in the end, which instruments and why I loved it so much, but it was so spiritual like you can get lost in it and like it's healing you know you can just process the pain anything you're going through and just let it wash over you it was spiritual it was powerful and uh now I'm going to check out what he sings about beautiful voice i like his voice it's soothing melody I just want to sing to it All these acoustic guitars, man. Skills. Beautiful, just the way they come in. And now that build, you guys. Oh! And now we're coming with the electric. Yeah, boy, come on. This is so freaking cool. Hey, yes.
is incredible. This is incredible. Guys, what just happened? <laughs> I love this outro music. I love the outro music they use for Nescafe Basement. It makes you not want to stop the video. Let me stop it because I want to talk and know it's the outro music. Guys, this was phenomenal. I don't even know where to begin. The fact, I've said this before when I reacted to Bolhu and to some of the other tracks, be it Coke Studio, be it Nescafe Basement, this music that we can find in Pakistan and in all these different places is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I love so very much when there's elements combined from native and folk to uh, modern day. I mean, just having all the different instruments, for example, the rubab, having the, which is such a neat looking instrument, by the way, having the sarangi, um, also uh, one of these uh, picked instruments, the sitar, having the mandolin, the violins added, this beautiful dreamlike elegance than having the acoustic guitars and the way that started. Oh my goodness. The electric guitars just adding that fire aka a more modern um, element. The flute having the drums of course which that is a big part of what carries it as the song built from the guitars to then have drums that are just adding a, a beat and an intensity powerful and the lyrics were beautiful. The, the first part was the instrumental interpretation and the second part, when he began singing, beautiful voice, very soothing and soft, but controlled. Um, there was, uh, it, it said, drew these lines of fate from you. I could see the love in my hands and I got to used, I got so used to you. Such was the intoxication of this affection. Why did sleep elude me at night? Returned those moments lost. Everywhere is Jal. And Jal, from what I understand, is Hindi for water. At first I thought, interesting, could imply drowning, right? Something tragic happened here. A love lost you. Somebody was blinded by intoxication and affection. They got so used to the other. Um, drawing lines of fate. So maybe something that led to a separation. Lines having to be drawn. Um, losing sleep at night. If you ever have your heart broken or lost someone, right? You can't sleep. I can't eat, I can't sleep anymore. <laughs> but you know, like just this this misery. And so when I thought, oh, everywhere's water, maybe that could imply drowning or tears, right? Just being surrounded by your suffering. But w the way that they sang it, so chant-like, this rep repetition of that tra of that song, the music itself had something so spiritual and emotional to it. It was hard just to, to grasp and I wish I could convey what I was feeling. Um, but I appreciate this because one could interpret it in a spiritual way, right? There's just something so powerful about getting lost in music, the different instruments. It's so heavenly. It's like, oh God, I want there to be a heaven where we can just listen to this and, you know, it's just powerful. But then at the same time, the second part of the song, having the lyrics, it's referred to more of a, of a broken heart of love. And I thought even chanting that over and over and over everywhere is Jal, um, is so almost sounded so spiritual and it's interesting to have all that emotion all these instruments that build up to convey that heartbreak and I think for those of you who love rock and metal and who know that a lot of those songs often deal with hard and heavy topics but also have a lot of instrumentation and orchestral elements and a lot of composition and musical detail and masterpieces I feel like Music lovers can really appreciate this, this emotion, the intensity to cherish, to ponder hard topics, love lost and heartbreak and struggle and drowning, water being everywhere, suffering. Um, th that's to me at least um, how, I, how I take that. Just, you know, when you feel things deeply and then you allow yourself to really experience it and, and get it out with, with music. This was powerful, absolutely powerful. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought. Thank you for being on this ride with me today. I can't, I'm already looking for the next thing. I can't wait to check out the next thing with you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. This was Rosalie. Make sure to like, share, subscribe before you go. Check the links below. But uh, I'll talk to you soon. Until next time. Ayo! Two and two and two. Take these off. Take these off. Take these off. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Rosalie.